In this video, I'm going to show you how to create something magical using the self fracture add on that comes with Blender and Geometry Nodes. So let's jump into it. Okay, first thing you want to do is enable self fracture add on. So edit preferences, type in cell, and enable it. Yeah, boom. Okay, now what you want to do is go Shift A, Mesh, Find a Taurus, and then what you can do is go here, add a modifier, subdivision surface, right click, shade smooth. Then what you want to do is make sure the object is selected, push F3, type in cell, and then select cell fracture. Then you want to change the noise, make it one. Source limit, bring this up to 200. Now what you want to do is hit OK. And now you can see we've got fractures. If you look here, all these nice cracks. And what you want to do is go G, take the original object away. And then you can just delete it. Okay, then what you want to do is select all. So do that and then hit M. New collection. You can just name it collection two. Now what you want to do is go shift A, add a plane, and then just shift it with G to there. Now what you want to do is go to geometry nodes, zoom in, hit new, then go shift A, input, scene. Collection info, put this here, bring this down, select collection 2. Then what you want to do is enable this, let's put this in here, and change this to relative. Now what you want to do is hide this. Now what you want to do, press shift A, input, instances, scale instances, Put that there. Now what you can do is go Shift A, then rotate instances, plug this in here, and then again Shift A, translate instances, put that in there. Now what you want to do is go Shift A, add an empty, then G, bring it to here. So now what you want to do is select the empty. Drag it in here, set it to relative, then go shift A, search, position, put that there, then go shift A, add a vector math node, then go here to add, set this to distance, now what you want to do is put this in there, in the location, in there. Now I'll just shift this up. Then go Shift A. Type in Map. Add a Map Range node. And plug the value to the value. And you want to plug this into Scale. And then if you got a layout, let's zoom in. Take this. Go G. And you can see what that's doing. So let's go to our geometry nodes again. Set the max to 2 and minimum distance to 1. And then change this to smoother step. Now let's go back here. G. You can see what we're doing there. And you can obviously always animate it if you want in the future. And this obviously works with any kind of object you want. So, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.